Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Golden's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. He's making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. His adversary, fighting out of New Orleans, Diaz. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. I wonder if the knockout streak will continue here. Golden's been able to do it throughout his whole career. Knock out man after man, they line up in front of him. He wastes no time. He goes right out of that corner with one thing in mind. Get rid of that guy. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot Keep of pawns moving up. forward very steadily. Nice strike after catching one by Diaz. You see him holding on. <laughs> if I'm the fighter with high stamina, fighting a fast, speedy guy like this, and you're my trainer, what are some of the things I absolutely have to remember that you told me? When you get on the inside, you better not make silent agreements and allow the faster guy to tie you up. You better be working, starting to take some gas out of his tank. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Blocked by Golden. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you gotta start early and stay with. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than us. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. Good step back. Counter punch there. Beautiful. That is a sharp uppercut by Diaz. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Golden. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. 
Golden. Defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. There's a straight right hand. And now another left. Halfway through this round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. And he ties up on the inside. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And we come to the end of round number two. Golden's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent. But sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring. Things that you had to understand as far as defensive liability. He has to remember that. Don't lay standing, but I want you to keep those hands Round number three is underway. Good job protecting himself. He has his target. He lands a straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. And he just holds on there. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do a tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Little head knocking with that right hand. Wow! He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. So he's unable to recover from that one clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously I'm not 